What's up guys, Charlie here. So today I have a little review on a really cool product that I was just introduced to through a different YouTube channel. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so uh, I, uh, as you know, probably most of you guys do as well, I follow uh, Top Pops on YouTube here, and he recently uh, made a video on these really cool figures. They are called, uh, they're the super plastic figures, these guys. Now these, uh, like he got a package sent to him with these guys, and I was like, whoa, I like these a lot. I bought some the other day at Hot Topic, which, you know, if you're trying to figure out where to buy these, you can buy them online on their website, or you can buy them where I got them, which is uh, Hot Topic. Uh, I bought some to, like, kind of, like, see if I, like, how I felt about them before, like, making a full video on them. And I really love them. I got two figures at the same time, and I got this guy. He is a, what's his face? He's Joe Ross. He's a one, two in, oh my god, I can't see. Two in 24, Joe Ross, really cool. And the detail in these things is insane. Really cool figure. And then the second one I got was this guy. He is, oh, he was on this side. He's Huck G. He is a 1 in 10 or 18. Hold on, let me put on my glasses. So this is Junk Huck G. He's a 1 in 18. Now, these guys, I was gonna look them up a little before doing this, but I completely forgot. I'm using my phone to record, so I can't look them up right now. But these, I believe. I'm gonna try to look them up on my computer, but my computer is doing, uh, it's trying to upload a video to YouTube now, so, uh, that is taking forever, but, uh, yeah, I believe the way these are done is, uh, Super Plastic collaborates with, uh, artists, and with different artists, and the different artists create the designs for them. I'm not entirely sure, I believe for the bigger ones, because they have uh, some bigger ones as well. I believe for the bigger ones, uh, they collaborate with our artists for sure. And I think they do it for the small ones as well, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna look this up because I'm gonna keep buying these guys. I'm, I'm like, I'm gonna keep buying more of these. So uh, I'll uh, look all of this stuff up and let you guys know for sure like what the deal is. But yeah, I'm very excited for these. These retail, uh, these I got a Hot Topic for $14.90. Uh, so it's not terrible. They are a little pricier, but like I said, I believe uh, I believe that the price is justified because it is a collaboration with artists and therefore an art the artists that they're uh, for things like that the artists that they're collaborating with would have to get a uh, piece of a of uh, a cut of the Profit so they have to make things these kind of things a little pricier but yeah, I mean, eventually I will try to get um, one of the bigger ones because they're not that crazy expensive. And I was looking at their website and they have uh, payment plans where you can like make uh, uh, four payments for uh, one of the figures and stuff. So you're going to have to like pay like whatever the price is like all at once, which I thought was pretty cool. So I might uh, get another one of those big ones for my next paycheck. I don't know. We'll see. The world is going insane, so I don't know if I want to spend money on collectibles right now. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, so I uh, bought um, three more of these guys at Hot Topic. Because I love the first two, so I was like, I need to do more. And I wanted to do this thing. There's this girl that comes into my store. And whenever she buys mystery minis, she weights them to see how much they... Uh, weight and then based on their weight because she has like a tiny little scale that she takes with her everywhere it's, it's insane 
She's super nice though, so if she happens to ever watch this, you're really nice. You know who you are. Uh but yeah, she always waits uh her fake her mystery minutes to like so that she knows which one she's gonna get. So I thought I would wait these to see how much they uh wait in case any of you guys do this sort of thing where you also like carry your skill everywhere to figure out which Mr. Minis you're gonna get. Let me take that out for the glare, sorry. Uh in case you guys wanna know what the weight is, you know, just for yourselves. I thought I would weight them as we go and then see what we get based on the weight. See if it's like any different or not. So uh, let me grab my box cutter real quick. Got it. Okay. So uh, let's open this guy. Um, so this guy, this guy weights. I'm just going to lay it like flat like this on the scale. 1.7 ounces. So let's see what is on. Oh, and they also like come with this pretty cool sticker as well. I believe the stickers are collectibles as well. Uh, but like I said, I'm gonna look all of this up. Like I should have looked like this up before. I should have looked this up before, but I completely forgot. So I'm gonna look this up for like the next time and let you guys know for sure. Cause uh, I love these things. Oh look, they have the little thingy. I don't need them. They have that little like corner where it tells you what you write. So I don't need my box cutter. Oops. So let's see what we got. Ooh. Does it come with anything? No. So this is Add Fuel. He is a one in eighteen. Am I gonna focus or what? Now, this guy is really cool. So, so cool. Look at the detail on this thing. Really, really cool. Awesome for guy figure. Now, for the other two, I will say, uh, when you buy these, sometimes they do come with accessories. Uh, like with this one, the base obat, uh, it came separate, like it came, uh, it was inside the little, like, it was inside the little bag, but, uh, just be careful, because if you don't pay attention, you might end up throwing the little accessory away. Uh, so yeah, I just thought I would mention that real quick. Get in there, bruh. There we go. But yeah, really, really cool. Very happy with this guy. I believe I had pre weighted some of these guys, so I believe this one is the lightest one of the ones I have here. So either the other ones are uh, have accessories with them, or they have a little different, uh, or they're a different, or they're one of the bunnies, maybe one of the rare ones. But uh, we're gonna have to find out right now. So check out that. So the next one, this one weighs 1.9 ounces. So let's see what we got. So the sticker is this guy. As you guys can see from the last one, the sticker does not match the figure. So uh, don't think that because you got a certain sticker, you're going to get the same figure. That would, I feel like if they did that, that would like spoil the surprise of like the figure you got. So I feel like that's why they don't do it, which I'm glad because I mean, I kind of want it to be a surprise to be honest. So I'm not angry at the fact that the sticker and the figure are different, but you guys can let me know how you feel about that. So here's the other one. Let's see what we got. Oh. <laughs> we got... <laughs> We got this guy. I'm laughing because we literally just like got his sticker and I was just saying how like just because we got the sticker doesn't mean you're getting that figure. So I think it's funny how the figure popped out. <laughs> oh my god. So this guy is a one. Oh, hold up. I can't see the number. Wow, I'm blinder than I thought I was. So this guy is Tato. Here's Tato, he's at 2 in 24. Really cool. I like this guy. Or gal, I like them. That's not gender or figures. And this one comes with a little 
two accessories actually. It's a little phone and a like cat toy thing. How does it hold it? Oh, it's not even in the picture there. Okay, let's give it. Let's take them out of the box here. Oh my god, it's like assembling a figurine. Oh, it's so exciting. So let's get the job done. Look at the little phone. It's like an iPhone. They have 19,000 likes. Oh, can you see it? Come on, technology. So I'm gonna put it on one hand. I'm just gonna... Oh, oh, maybe it goes on this hand. Hold up. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, it's so cute. Look at that. They're taking a selfie. Mm, yes. Okay. <laughs> and then the little tail thing. What is this? Oh, it's a backpack. Damn, look at that. Mmm. Now this is. Now this thing has accessories. That is pretty cool. I like this turtle thing. I like this guy. I like this a lot. Oh my god, it's so cool. I'm happy I haven't done any repeated ones so far. Watch, I just changed them. But oh, I'm, oh, I love these things. Man, I'm gonna be buying more of these. These are insane. So this last box weighs 2.2 ounces. So this one's the heaviest one that we have. Let's see what's our sticker. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's this guy again. So this sticker is repeated, but that's okay. We don't mind. So let's see if that box here. So this is... I don't want to like touch it, like feel it, because I want it to be a surprise, so let's see. Oh! Whoa, what is this? Whoa! Or she, oh, she's a lady, look at her. Damn! Look at this thing. Whoa. And as we can see, she comes with a lot of accessories here. So we're gonna put those on in a minute. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I like this. What? It's not in here, huh? Oh, no, it is. Never mind. This one is a 1 in 24. I was like, I just didn't recognize because all the things that's on its face. I was like, whoa. So let's put all this stuff on. Let's see. So, oh, look at that. A little katana backpack action here with like, you know, the little bow and whatnot. With some shiroken. Look at the shiroken in there. Mmm, yeah. That katana. Mm-hmm. That goes back here. Heavily accessorized. Nice. Heavily, heavily, heavily accessorized. So this goes in the front. This pops in in the back. Oh, these like cat figures are insane. Damn, look at her. That is so freaking cool. Oh, I love this. Look at her katana action there. The little crooked. Oh, these are awesome. I'm definitely going to be buying more of these. These are insane. Which one's the rarest one so far that we have? Is it that 1 in 24? 1 in 18? Well, we have a 1 in 24 and 2 in 24. So I think the 1 in 24 is the rarest one we have. Which would be uh, this two petal rose. Two petal 
goals. There you can see her better. Oh, so cool. Two petal rows. This is insane. Oh, I like these guys. I like these guys a lot. Yeah, I am most definitely going to be buying more of these guys. I'm going to like uh, research them a little bit more. Just because, you know, I, I should know more about these. That way I can tell you guys more about these. Because these are insane. Oh, so happy with them. Man. So yeah, those I'm probably going to put... Where am I going to display these? These are too cool. I need a good place to display. Oh, I'm probably going to put them up there in my bookshelf with all my Game of Thrones stuff. Let me show you. That empty spot there. Like, there's some space in the front there. So that's where I'm probably going to line them up where all my Game of Thrones is. But yeah, those things are insane. I love these things. Like I said, though, they are a little pricier, but like I said, uh, that's probably because if they are artist collaborations, they do have to give a cut of the profit for the specific figure to the artist. Oh, look, he has a little, this one has a little design on his shoes. So, uh, yeah. Oh, they have their names in the bottom. Well, that's cool. I just realized they have the names on the bottom, so this would be like add fuel. Let me put it the right. Add fuel there. Then we have who is this? Tado. It's not focusing. And then who is this? HG. Well, that's just like a shorter version. But yeah, really cool figures. Uh, Oh, I really love these. These are insane. Like I said, I am probably going to get one of the bigger ones later on. They have uh, some really cool ones. I was looking at their website, which would be just like superplastic.com. And like some of the big ones they have, like they're not uh, not, uh cats like these. Some of them are like giant like bunnies, which look really cool. There's also some blank ones, which I don't get. Uh, if you guys know what the blank ones are, let me know. I think they might be blank for you to kind of like create their own your own design on them. My only thing is that those blank ones, like they are like the bigger uh, figures or whatever, but they are uh, pretty pricey for a blank figure that you can just like paint yourself and light like, drawing yourself by painting it. So I don't know if that's the point of it, but uh, if it is, it's a little pricey for a blank figure that might potentially get ruined because it's, you know, basically a blank canvas that you are uh, painting on and you never really know how that's going to turn out. So a, bit, a little risque for the price. I know Hot Topic actually has those, the blank ones online. They're both the, uh, I think they're black and white or it's just, just uh, white, the white one for sure. I don't remember if there's a black version specifically, but I know there's a white one for sure. But yeah, I thought those were a little pricey. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to try to get some of the bigger ones. I'm probably going to attempt it, seeing how, depending on how things go, because these things are insane. And I'm definitely going to be buying more. I love these and uh, I want to get as many as I can. I'm not usually into the whole blind bag stuff just because you never know what you're gonna get. But I'm really into these things uh, and I'm excited to see what I get next. But yeah, for next video, I'll definitely have more research on the company and stuff for you guys. Just so that like you guys know a little bit more about them. Just because I feel like it's only fair, you know, that way you guys can like know uh, what you're getting yourself into and everything. And that way, uh, uh, you just have all the facts and we know for sure whether or not there are these collaborations or not. I know the big ones for sure and I'm just debating a little bit on the small ones. But uh, yeah, really cool figures. But yeah, that is it for today, guys. Like I said, I'm probably going to be buying more of these guys. So uh, let me know if any of uh, today's figures, if you really liked any of these. And if you're going to be buying any of these for yourself in the future. Let me know, sound off in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Overall, uh, great figures. I love these. They are a little light. They are a bit like mystery minis, 
but uh they are so cool though like i don't mind like the price at all i think they are totally worth the price so uh yeah these are amazing and they're gonna look amazing in anybody's collection so yeah that is for today guys let me know what you guys think and if you're getting any of these for yourself and i'll see you guys next time bye look at that crazy lineup